Now, our touch DNA is based on cells we leave behind when we touch things. And we have uncovered some court filings that shed light on the so-called alternative suspects. However, there's no word on whether, much less when, DNA comparisons will be made. Adnan Syed is free, according to the city state's attorney, because Touch DNA excluded him as a suspect of the 1999 murder of his ex-girlfriend, Heyman Lee. DNA expert Dr. Monte Miller says it's conditionally accurate. If we get the DNA and we're able to identify somebody, it, it's extremely accurate. The question is whether or not with Touch DNA you will get enough DNA, uh, because skin cells don't often leave a lot of you know, DNA behind. Authorities say Lee was strangled while sitting in her car, then dragged through Leakin Park and buried. According to the city state's attorney, Heyman Lee's shoes, which had not been tested, had multiple samples of DNA, but they excluded Syed. Our expert says shoes can be a magnet for DNA. Shoes can get DNA from, you know, anybody in the general area that's talk, talking, can cough, can spit, anybody who's touched them. Um, you know, if they get touched by gum or anything, really. Last month in court filings, the state's attorney raised questions about the conviction of Syed based on the discovery of two, quote, alternative suspects. Both are in prison on unrelated charges. One suspect attacked a woman inside her car, and the state's attorney says had a motive to kill Lee. Court papers contend he said he would make her disappear. He would kill her. The other suspect is a convicted serial rapist. But court papers indicate evidence at the scene does not support a sexual attack. The state's attorney declined to release additional information about the suspects. Ultimately, it will get compared. If they're in jail, they'll take their sample, they'll put it into CODIS. Uh, that sample that they got off their shoes might likely go into CODIS. State Attorney General Brian Frosch declined our request for an interview about this case. He had supported the Lee's family's appeal on the conviction vacated and the, the vacated conviction in this Syed case. Reporting live from Circuit Court downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.